Hey guys, it is Brittany from Coffee Planner Mommy and I am here today planning in my classic size happy planner. And this is the week of February 25th through March 3rd. Like, kind of unreal that we are getting into March. But this is actually still part of the February pages of my planner. Um, so I originally, like last week, I went with a pastel color and this week I was going to go with something a little more bright, like the pink, purple, that's perfect actually, um, and this. But I'm not really sure. Like I have been struggling very hard to find this shade of purple. So like that lavender, lilac, um, whatever you want to call it. But that particular shade out of all of my Mambi stickers. So I don't think I'm going to do that because I just kind of want to enjoy my spread and right. uh, I had to do a little bit adjusting but I want to enjoy my spread and not feel like it's a fight to pull it together you know what I mean um so the more I was thinking about it I kind of think I want to do almost like a throwback spread um and use a really old sticker book so the only sticker book I have from like the very first generation that was released was the original seasonal. I don't have any of those other ones. Um, but this was the next set of sticker books that got released. So this is the watercolor. Easily my all-time favorite sticker book. And I don't have a whole lot left, honestly. I mean, like it might look like I have a lot left because like these are just kind of like icons and such. We've got some circle stickers, which is actually going to come in quite handy. Um, but I've got a lot of things that I can pull in. The only thing is I don't have a whole lot of full boxes. So we've got a couple of double boxes on this page and this page. But as far as just regular full boxes go, I've got these. Nothing on this page, a few on this page, and nothing on this page. But I think I have enough to kind of do like a makeshift rainbow spread. I've never done any of those before, so I kind of want to try. And I figured this will be a good way for me to just kind of use up the stickers that I still have left. So the fun thing to note is that this, let's see what the sizing is going to be. Okay, so this is actually going to be the entire box including the header. Some of the older sticker books weren't the size of the full box and it left space for a header so I honestly didn't know what I was getting myself into over here. But I think what I'm going to do is I could pull in a little bit of washi. Hold on. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to stick that on the tripod momentarily. Um, I'm not going to put down headers, usually I do, but this time I'm not going to. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to see how well this works, I'm going to use this to create a background. So I am going to go the length of, or the width of this box right here, but then I'm not going to particularly need to the rest of the way down. So you'll see what I mean. Um, let's see, we'll go like this. So when I cut my washi, I, depending on how precise I need it to be, if I'm not terribly worried, I just use this old gift card in order to rip it. Um, if I am looking for Oh, there we go. If I'm looking for it to be more precise, then I will actually take a blade and slice it down. And I will still use the card. Like, I don't know why I was struggling so much with that one. Um, but I will still use the card um, as a straight edge, but use this thing. So let's see. I think what I might... Where did... Okay. I've got the skinnier one and I think I might just use that just to fill in 
this last I've got so much so this is simply gilded washi which by the way she is currently had um, open her pre-sale um, so what that means for anyone who is not familiar with Simply Gilded and the pre-sale and everything, what that means is she has not ordered this washi yet. She has just designed it and you can go in on her site from now until a week from now and order as many rolls as you want. Um, she's not going to sell out. She's not going to limit how many you can get or anything like that. Oh, that's going to be cute. Yes, that'll be super duper cute. Um, but yeah, so you can get as many rolls as you want of the designs that she has. And then she is going to close the... Maybe I should have it up a little bit. Yeah, just ever so slightly. No, I don't think I'll... Yeah, I think I'll just leave it like right here. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a background. I think I like that. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. I kind of wanted to be a little creative with my washi this week, and then I decided on this. So, yeah. All right. Now, one of the things... Ooh. Let me see if I can peel this up. Perfect. What I'm going to do... So I don't want to bring this too much into Wednesday, I don't think, because I've got our family movie night, but I do want, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do want to have the orange kind of going like this. I think this will be cute and just try to yeah cute little cluster I think that works I don't know so we've got pink orange I'm going to go with this one for the yellow the note to self because I don't really have yellow otherwise so this is what we're going with I have a couple of green options though surprisingly um, so I've got this one that's kind of greenish. I've got this I think is going to end up cla classifying more as blue, honestly. And then this is green. So we will see. We will see. I think, yeah, we will go ahead and stick this right here. I'm going to take it down just, I don't know why, but I just kind of think I want it connected. I don't know. I wonder, do I have any other washi that I could bring in? So I've got the blue and that is silver. I think I might, I have a purple. So I've got, they're both silver foil. I've got the more vibrant purple and then I've got the more pastel purple. And I'm just trying to decide which one is going to go best because I'm not going to have a purple sticker. So, I don't know, I kind of think I want to go with the more vibrant. I don't know. Let's, let's hope I don't regret this. All right, well, apparently I've got the skinnier one open already. I didn't do the big one, so we're just going to go with the skinnier one. Um, but yeah, so I think what I'll do is I think I might bring it. No, I'm not going to bring, I was going to bring it up. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm going to overlap it, so I'm only going to be taking up ever so slightly of the evening box of Wednesday. So I say evening, and I'm gonna kind of think I'm gonna just drag it all the way over here. I don't know. I don't know now, but it's there. So I guess I'm just gonna run with it. I'm not going to take it all the way over again I, th I don't think and the good thing about the washi is it will peel up nice and easily if I you know this is probably not a good idea because this one is meant to be written on but I'm kind of already committing to the idea so we're just gonna go with it all right I had to put this up on my tripod so I didn't know how far down I was going to 
take this, but I am going to do the same thing and just offset it ever so slightly just so that I can have that little bit of dimension. That's why I offset my stickers is I feel like it just gives it that dimension. So, okay, so, so far everything has been connected and I'm kind of here for it. So, yeah. All right, that is yellow. So what I'm gonna do is for the green, I'm gonna use that double box that says hello today. So that I will, I'll end up keeping it down here-ish. And then we're going to use, yeah, the big plans is going, ooh, big plans will go on Sunday because we do have big plans on Sunday. All right, so the double box, and then we've got, a, we're gonna do today is the day. Yeah, okay, I was trying to decide how I wanted to layer it because I do want to have everything layered. So we'll go with this one, and then let's see. Kinda wanna bring, ooh, pink. You will go ahead with some pink washi, and this one, actually going to layer it down underneath. So how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to take it out here so that this is kind of pushed out towards the spine. This is going to be pushed out towards the spine. And I think, ooh, yeah, maybe I'll raise it instead of putting it, instead of dropping it down. I think I'll stick it up above. Yes. All right, so I did it that way because I'm not ripping it completely straight and I just wanted it to be a little more precise. Like I said, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and apparently it varies within one spread. So it's not even like it's terribly consistent across my spreads or anything. So we've got all of that. And all of these are simply gilded. So the thicker bows are 15 millimeter, the thinner ones are 10 millimeter, and I do have five, just not in these colors, so I haven't used them. Um, so anyway, I was explaining about the pre-sale. So yeah, the first time that I ever ordered Simply Gilded, it was during a pre-sale because I was a little bit nervous to shop with her, honestly. Um, I I knew that like for the most part her stuff went really quick and you had to if you didn't have like super fast fingers that you didn't have a high likelihood that you would end up getting her items so the pre-sales were great because there was no pressure I knew I would get what I wanted and everything now she's increased her stocks her yeah her stock so well that there's no no worry whatsoever if you're going to get your items or not. Um, but it is still nice to shop pre-sales because of it being so incredibly leisurely. Um, yes. I, it's funny, like this one is, today is the day. Uh, today is not really a day. It's, I mean, this day, Saturday. Oh no, today, that is the big plans day. For some reason I was thinking it was Sunday, but no, it's Saturday. Okay, so let me put this back. All right, so I've got my big plans sticker now. Um, oh, and then I think what I'll do is I will bring it up here. So the plans, I don't know, they're actually more in like the evening. And I guess if I put it down here, that will give me extra space to write down all of the extra plans. I suppose we'll just go with it. So see, this is fun because like so far I have been doing a lot of deco, but at the same time, like I've got some functional things thrown in. So I don't know. I mean, like hopefully you are getting some sort of ideas over here. Yeah, we'll put this up a little bit higher because we actually have two parties to worry about on this day. So I kind of like that this is like watercolored and it goes down into like basically nothing. So that is pretty cute. But now I don't have anything over here. So let's see. I don't know if I really want to bring in that pink. Like I said, if 
there was more purple available, it would be a different story. I do have this, but I'm not sure if I want to like waste it. And let me see what I've got in here. So this is floral, so I might not actually go with something in here. Where's the pastels? I've been using silver, so I think that there's like some hollow stickers in here. And it's like silver hollow. That's rose gold, so that's definitely a no. I don't know, that might actually work. I know that's more of like gems, but I might be able to pull that in. Let's see, yeah, I want if either blue or purple. So this is the Lovely Pastels Tiny Sticker Pad. If I could find blue, I would be a very happy camper. That's rose gold. Yeah, that's the problem is that, oh, that's really cute though. Ooh, so this actually could work and then I could turn it on its side because I'm Brittany. So that is something that I do. That's more green. Um, yeah, that's pink. I'm trying to avoid pink because I started the rainbow with pink. So I'm trying to not use pink. That is, kind of looks purple to me. I might go with that. I've got the double box over here already though. Hmm. Yeah, I think because I have one sticker turned on the side over here, so I think I will do that over here as well. And just turn it on its side and I will stick it out a little bit. So this one is actually going to be to mark off soccer. So I don't want to put it on top, but I really don't want to cover up the pretty foil either. This is so funny. Like I was not expecting that this was going to be like a heavily foil dominated spread, but here we are. So, okay, I've got a lot of decoration. I'm really, really excited about this. Rainbow spreads are not, this isn't really like my thing, but I kinda, kinda been liking this. So let's see what I can pull in. I'd like to get a checklist on Monday because Monday is when I clean. I've got washi everywhere. So there is a sheet of checklists in here. I don't know if I'm going to find anything pink. Oh, we do have pink. Perfect. So we will go with pink. And then I already have something over here. I don't know. Let's see. How big is this? Oh, that's perfect. So it is going to come all the way up into the top header. I'll be able to leave the bottom header. So you've got like that little bit of purple. Um, so that's going to be for my cleaning list. I need something to mark off my mini video and my father-in-law's birthday. Okay, hold on. So for cleaning, I don't know if there's any boxes left. Oh, all right. Well, I've used the lighter pink. And let's see. So there's that box. Ooh, that's cute. It's kind of like an orangey though. So that would actually be better suited for Tuesday, I think, because it's kind of like a mix of all three of these colors. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just use it and it'll be to mark his birthday. And how do I want to stick it down? Because I need to make sure that I'm able to fit something to write down for my video. Normally I put it in a box and if I can't put it in a box then I can't put it in a box and I'm not going to really let that like hang me up too much on this but I'm sorry I'm just kind of flipping. We do have these so I've got I only have hot pink, blue, and turquoise left so that's not quite going to work. Let's see these are all really cute. 
So I could use something like that instead. None of them are really pinky though, and I need pink. Uh, yeah, I might just not put it in a box. So I'll pull out my coffee mugs in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and stick this going out into the sidebar. Yeah, that's what we'll do. This is, this is so heavy. So, so heavy, but that's okay. I'm trying to, trying to convince myself. No, I said I'm putting it into the sidebar. So much going on. All right, I'll worry about my videos in a minute. What do I need to put down on Tuesday? So Tuesday, we've got, um, oh, I passed it. Here we go. So which one, I guess this is kind of orangey. There's not a whole lot of orangey in these sticker books either. So I'm going to use this to keep track. I don't really have orange washi. Hmm. I need to do something about my lack of orange. All right, so we'll stick that. I guess I'll put it up top. What else do I have going on on Tuesday? Towels. But yeah, so we'll put that up there. and. I could use my foil towel Tuesdays. All right, let me. All right, so for my videos, I always mark them off with a coffee mug. So these coffee mugs are from Lil Annabelle's Plans. I do have a coupon code for her shop. It is Brittany25, and that gets you 25% off your entire order in her shop. Um, these, because I'm one of her PR girls, she actually personalized them with my channel's name. Um, so they don't come with a personalization option. But because they're personalized, I want to put it down. So this is going to be to mark off um, Mini Mania Monday, so that's when I put up my mini video. <sighs> Note to self. So, okay, I need to do washi. I don't know if I have yellow. I know I'm supposed to be looking for washi Wednesday, but I'm going to use these little Celebrate Little Lucias, and I'm going to put that I kind of want to cover up where it says today. Do I have super skinny? Washi, aha. Oh, well, that's, hmm. All right, well, it's kind of more purpley, but I'm just going to go with it. And it's hollow foil. But at this point, I'm just kind of not going to get terribly hung up. I just want to cover the black today. So I know that, like, this is still going to be, like, kind of see-through, but... Mm, that's not thick enough. All right, well, that's okay because I actually have blue. So both of those, the one I just put back and this one are from Simply Gilded, which at this point should come as no surprise. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Again, it's not, it, it's just to try to take away some of the harsh black on here. And I can't even cut it straight. All right, I just wanted to get that down. Like I said, it didn't have to be perfect, but at least now you can't see the harsh black. So, I have a popcorn sheet of stickers from Lil Annabelle's Plans. This is the Deep Winter color combo. Um, I'm so excited. I have more of her stickers coming. Um, she has released all of her icons and everything in her spring color that's close enough in her spring colors so I'm excited that I'll be getting all of those and I try to make sure that when I when she releases different colorways that I get all of the stickers that I know I use in that because then I can like coordinate across the spread so this spreads a little bit different because like I'm color blocking every single day for the most part I don't know what I'm gonna do over here though because I've got the green on both Ooh. Didn't think that one through, Brittany, did you? While we're in yellow, these are her multicolored books. So I am gonna put one of those down and I think what I'll do, I'm gonna stick it down here. Normally I stick it off to this side, I think, but I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna put the Washi Wednesday up here. So I'm gonna have the two um, Instagram posts up top. So I think, yeah, I will send it off. And then if I need to move it, the great thing about her stickers is they're on removable paper. So I'll be able to just peel it off and be fine with it. 
and I have yellow trash can stickers from her shop. Like I said, when when she has colors, I try to because for for me personally, I, oh, I had a brighter sheet. So they come in two different shades. So I have them stacked on top of each other, and I didn't notice that I had the brighter yellow. Um, I typically use her brights in summer because I usually do really bright spreads throughout the summer. So yeah. And her sheets are sized, they're four by six, so you can get like any photo album and it'll work. Now this is what I wasn't sure about. Yeah. Sometimes I try to be incredibly particular about how I do the colors and because this is a rainbow spread, I'm going to be like that. So I have Rosie in the Washi Tower in the fall, Christmas, traditional, and winter colors, and then Jolene, but none of them are just yellow. So I'm going to use another one of the asterisks, aster, aster, oh my gosh, <sighs> these babies. I'm going to use one of those babies to mark off washy Wednesday and then because of that I'm going to move these like I said I wasn't worried because it is on removable paper which is fine because I typically put it on this side anyway so we've got that and that page is falling out all right so what else do I have going on I want to make sure I've got everything oh I want to mark off my towels where here we go so this is orange let's see if I have any oranges and I think I have other washer stickers Ooh. oh okay we see you have that orange all right and I've got I have her stickers everywhere I have not condensed them into just the one and even I actually 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 whoa I'm in the middle of another cup of coffee so you'll have to forgive that so I don't know what I was getting at. We're going to just go ahead and take this orange. There we go. This orange I think is kind of a better match, but it says tidy up time. And I don't really want to do that. And I'm going to, normally I like to stagger. So like if I put icons, multiple icons in a box, I try to go like boom, 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 or boom, boom but I'm just gonna go boom, boom. <sighs> way -o. Anyway, we're going to stick that here. That's gonna be for Towel Tuesday. That's just an easy way for me to remember to do the towels so that they get done on a regular basis instead of me having to sit there and be like, when was the last time that I dot, dot, dot. I do need to pick up my daughter from rehearsal. So I have my custom rehearse oh that's right okay well I'm not gonna be able to put my cleaning Jolene down but that's okay all right so we're going to go ahead and we'll stick well actually I can put this here yeah that's what I'll do I'm, I could put it all the way down here I was complaining the other day that I don't have enough stuff going on in the bottom of my boxes so I actually think I will stick this right here because I'm not going to put anything else here and then that'll give me in case anything comes up. I hope you don't mind me talking through my logic, you guys. Um, but if anything comes up, I could fit something here in the middle, but then I'll have this whole box and I'll have this little space down here because I have this sticker that I can just stick right on top of that. Um, and I actually have to get her on Wednesday as well. So do I want to put that? Yeah, I think I'll stick it down here. And then the note to self. Well, it's funny because like I have another video going up. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I'll stick this going off over here. I don't usually do a whole lot on Wednesdays um, besides like by running around just because it's so busy so when we come back from the library I like to have a little bit of downtime um, sometimes coming back from the library we'll stop off at Target or maybe even Wegmans to pick up some things but I think that basically wraps up this half now 
I'm a little torn because like I know that I'm going to use a green and I guess I'll use the kind of more limey green up here but then I'm torn about which color I want to use here if I want to use the more like teal or the blue and actually I think what I'll do is I'm just going to use the teal because I have so many more and I only have six of the blue so I kind of want to use the blue a little more sparingly just to try and just conserve it you know what I mean this is so funny this was not supposed to be like a one sticker book spread or anything but it's turning into that so I'm going to save this box to just kind of keep track as like a secondary list. Normally I like to put my lists on Mondays and Thursdays just so that I have like different things going on. So that's what I'm going to use this box for because I really don't have anything else to do with it. Um, I do have another video that is going to be going up this week at least one other one. So this one over here is going to be my recipe planner. I like to put that up on Wednesdays because if I only have one other video going up besides my plan with me's, I like Wednesday because it's right in the middle of the week. And then if I do have another video, I put it up on Thursday just so that I've got extra videos that are not planned with me's here in case you wanted my logic. So I'm going to stick this down here in the evening just so that I do have something going on in the evening box for Thursday um, but that's basically it over here now here's the fun part because I do need to also do my video on Friday because we've got so much stuff going on on Saturday in order for me to have my video done and ready to upload on Saturday I need to get it up on Friday so maybe I'll push that up there actually great news you guys removable sticker paper if I can just get a good grip on it it's kind of hard over here by the spine because I don't want to rip the page I've done that before um, and I do have a fix I have a video and it was called something like um, planner mistakes it was from the 25 tips series and that's crooked but not crooked enough for me to worry about but look at that a finished sheet I already have a backup sheet ready to go but that is exciting to finish up sticker sheets now the reason why I put this down here is because Friday I'm also going to need to do my nails and I have, look at that <laughs> I did not mean to open it to there but there's my backup sheet of stickers where are the nail polishes there they are okay so Friday we said is going to be like that kind of teal color I think I have a teal from the fall colors this one's deep winter that is winter holiday boom Here's the fall colors. Here's the pastels. Um, they always used to be my favorites. But, and they're really a great fallback because you can get, well, hmm. Maybe I should have gone with that one. I don't know. Oh, oh wait, what is that over here? Oh, that one would have been cute too. But I think that one might actually be a little too blue. Yeah, I, this was the one that I imagined I was going to use. I think I'm just going to go with it. And actually, I'm going to put it over here on this side because I don't want to have the, I think it just looks a little too uniform. So we're going to put that there. And guess what? Yep, this one's coming up and just going to get moved over to the other side. But it's okay because, that's right, removable stickers awesome all right so the big plans that's going to be for the two different parties that we have going on um and then this is going to be for soccer and then honestly that is it this page is looking a little too empty so i definitely want to get something down i'm just not sure what so and I'm probably going to end up doing a weekend banner just for fun but let's see what we can bring in so this is just entirely too large so we're going to have to skip over that best week ever there's not I, I wouldn't say it's the best week ever that pink is just a little too bold compared to everything else that I've used 
I do like the go the extra mile, it's never crowded, but hey. Yeah, I feel like if I'm gonna put something down, it's gonna need to go down on like Sunday evening, so I'd like for it to be blue, if at all possible. What's over here, I saw something blue. Oh, best day ever, and then something else with black ink. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I love this sticker book, but it's definitely, definitely picked over. Ooh, so I do have some actual weekend banners that I could use, and I could just lay it on top, but those are gold, so no, actually, never mind that. Scratch that idea. Ooh, we've got a blue Hello Weekend. So that actually might work. I don't actually know, hold on. I think it's gonna be a little too skinny. Yeah, it is gonna to be too skinny. Well, that's a shame. All right, we've got, we've got circle stickers. All right, I did this last week and I'm doing it again because like I just really like it. And actually, hold on, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll look in some of these quotes books but I have these on my fingers so I feel like I'm going to end up using them anyway but here hold on let me I'll be back all right I found a couple of things that I want to use so this is the original quotes book not the gold star okay this was the first generation quotes book so I feel really good about that because yeah so we've got this right here that says something it's upside down so now I can't read it which is cool that's fine it's upside down, so I shouldn't expect myself to read it. Party all night, party all day. All right, perfect, considering these are party plans. So I kind of wish that I would have put it up here and had that slid up. I don't know if I necessarily feel like sliding, sliding, pulling out my undo over it though. Oops, but I really, like this. So I'm going to stick this down here at the bottom. And then I am still going to use these three stickers. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of create a banner here. And I think I'll actually take it going up. And so this is no, I need more like heavy stuff down here at the bottom. That's what I told myself. So we're going to go with that one. Well, now, yeah, oh well. We'll stick that here. Nope, we're pulling out the undo. This is just something that I got at Michael's in their sticker section and yeah, it makes it so that every time I make a mistake with where I put a sticker down, I don't have to sacrifice that sticker. I'm able to just reuse it. Oh, okay, good, perfect. I do want this one down in the middle though because it's, ooh, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll stick it there. And then this, I'm gonna put it all the way to the edge of the page. I wonder if there's anything else that I can add to that just to kind of make it more. Um, but then there also was this other sticker that I really, that I just really liked. So it's Believe You Can and You're Halfway There. So I didn't want to put that down here even though I needed something heavier down at the bottom. Only because like, I don't, like I have this over here to add extra, sorry this over here to add extra plans. So I didn't want to cover that up, but yeah, this is just a little too cute. With that being out to the side, I don't want to have this also and just kind of have it too, like that's my problem is I don't want something to look too uniform. So I am not going to do the weekend banner. I'm going to put this up top. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll take, and I use the polka dots over on the other page, but I don't think I wanna do the polka dots over here. I'm gonna put this one down. So it's the same color as the polka dot one. It's just not, 
not the dots. And I'm going to keep it perfectly in line and try to get it flush against that sticker. I don't know because I am currently struggling. So, all right, this poor sticker that I'm like, okay, good. I have it bent and now it's staying. All right, so I was trying to use like alternating colors, but that didn't quite happen, but that's okay. I don't know, I feel like this spread is a mess. <laughs> but it's my very first time attempting any sort of like a rainbow spread, so I think for that it's okay, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll try a rainbow spread ever again to be completely honest. And I don't even think I will call this a rainbow spread because like I don't want to tarnish the name of rainbow spreads. The good news is it's cluttered with stickers. Like it really looks like, I'm gonna have to just like hashtag this as sticker puke because yeah, I feel like that's kind of what's going on. Um, so even though like it looks like this, my sticker albums and sticker books just threw up all over my page, I still have a lot of functional space. I mean, not necessarily on Monday, but that's okay. I don't really foresee all that much coming up on Monday. Um, but I have space down here, space in here, space in between for both Tuesday and Wednesday to write something down. I can write more stuff here. I've got all this space here because this is only for like a list of things to do. Plenty of space here at the bottom over here and then actually right here as well. So even though it is kind of heavy, it is still still white spacey enough that I can function, which is what I need. So yeah, I'm just going to close my sticker book. There we go. And say this is done. If you enjoyed this video, thank you. <laughs> um, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on my other videos that I have coming up. Um, like I said, these are my two plan with me, so my mini and my classic. This is going to be my recipe, and then this one is either going to be the January flip through that I didn't do. I filmed it and then realized that it had personal information that I didn't like redact, so I have to refilm it. Um, but I also have quite a bit of Happy Meal that's going to be coming in, and if it all comes in in time, I'm going to post that instead. So yeah definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, if you're not following me over on Instagram, you'll definitely want to, so you can check out my posts over there. I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later. I'm back. Um, I wanted to come back because I used my undo. I peeled up every single sticker that had washi underneath of it, and then I peeled up all of the washi and put all of the stickers back down exactly where they were, and I'll show you that in just a second. But I really wanted to use washi tape. So what I did was I made a washi banner. So I've already laid it all down um, to cut the flag itself. I don't remember if I talked about that in this video or not. But you fold the washi. And I'll show you. I have an extra roll. You fold it where the pretty side is in on itself. And then you use just a regular pair of scissors. And you snip it so that, the, so that it has an angle. And then that gives you the banner flag whatever you want to call it. Whew. And then um, I just laid it all down. So now I'm going to go ahead and very carefully turn it because I can't do things going the other way. But I'm going to, and I think I'll take it all the way up to where the header is and just go ahead and slice it all so that it's all like perfectly straight. Okay. 
there we go. So now I have, and that's actually really pretty, like super pretty Easter collars. I love it. But the, the thing is now I am much happier with the spread. And now that I don't have like seven, six, seven rolls of washi hanging off of it, let's actually look at the spread now that it's completed. And I definitely like this a lot better. It does not feel as cluttered as it did. Maybe I can try that again where I layer the washi and the stickers on top of each other in a spread where I don't have all of this going on. But you can see, I can't, well I don't know if you can see, but I kind of have creased the page, you know, pages in a couple of spots from trying to peel up all of that washi. But I did put everything back down where it was, like I said. And all the washi in the washi banner is simply gilded. So that is my final spread, and yeah, see you guys later.